This is an Akuma machine tool at the Boeing Renton plant south of Seattle. The operator is loading a titanium block for a machining test. This block is about to get a digital twin. 30 miles north, at the Future of Flight Museum in Mukultio, a group assembles to demonstrate a standards-based digital thread that connects the titanium block across its design and manufacture. Today, the thread starts at design, where a digital model connects the part shape with tolerance requirements. The thread should continue into manufacturing, but today's machine tools understand only simple go-to commands that move the spinning cutter from place to place. With only these codes, you don't really know why the machine is going slow in one place, fast in another, or moving in a particular manner. All links to the original digital model are lost. Feedback and improvements are difficult. The thread is broken. But not today. Today the team will build and update a digital twin using real-time information from the machine tool in context with a complete process, original CAD model, and required tolerances. We'll measure the twin to see if tolerances are being met. We'll optimize the twin to change tooling or other attributes. We even speed up or slow down machining because the twin is a complete model. The digital thread will remain intact. The team showed the new digital twin server and four use areas tracking manufacture, optimization, inspection, and solution generation. The digital twin server, created by Step Tools, monitors the CNC machine tool and receives real time updates with position and status. The twin begins with an AP238 model of the machining plan, which has all of the operations, setups, tool paths, tool requirements, and in process tolerances. With each CNC update, the server refreshes the live 3D model to match what the machine tool just did. Updates happen 100 times every second. The CNC updates are delivered using MT Connect, but Automation ML and OPC UA are other protocols that could be used. Access to the digital twin is simple. Using HTML5, the 3D display is just a web browser on any desktop, tablet, smart TV, or mobile phone. The web client uses 3.js with refinements from Vanderbilt to show geometry and basic JavaScript for all the other data. Custom clients can be built by any web developer. The demonstration monitored the twin from 30 miles away. A video feed from the machine tool confirmed the real-time tracking but the digital twin was clearer, unobscured by coolant, easy to rotate, zoom, or turn geometry on or off. Many people can view the twin, so process engineers, machinists, and designers can collaborate on manufacturing issues from anywhere across the enterprise. The twin opens new avenues for optimization. The model is continuously updated from material removal calculations. With input from Sandvik Coromont and Boeing experts, and access to the fully linked process within the model, we use the removal volumes to adjust feed rates on individual tool moves to maintain a constant chip thickness. The digital thread has rich manufacturing process because of the AP238 standard. As you've seen, we have CAD shape and tolerances, as well as CAM setup, operation, and toolpath data. We can even have before and after CAD models for individual operations. But that's not all. This single thread contains solutions for many different materials and cutting tool options. And thanks to AP238, those can come from anywhere. Our aluminum solution came from NX. Steel came from Katia. 
and titanium was planned by Mastercam. All together and in a single thread, available when we need it. Penn State demonstrated a new cloud service that automates machining solutions. When given before and after CAD models, the service generates a solution for a given set of tooling or material characteristics. This recognition works well because it can focus on the before and after of just a single operation. The result is a new AP238 process that is added to our thread alongside the other options. Inspection is possible on the digital thread because of the AP242 standard. Semantic tolerances associated with part shape let us measure the digital twin online during machining and automate the inspection of the physical part afterwards. Minutoya, with help from ITI, adapted their metrology tools to use in-process models from the digital twin. This early work is exciting because it can check evolving part shape while machining and identify areas of concern in context with the process and any stage tolerances. After machining, we can still perform traditional measurement with a CMM. Minutoyo demonstrated how semantic tolerances in the AP242 data simplify this task by generating an automated inspection plan. Their software analyzed the tolerances and associated faces created a program for the CMM, and then measured all the features on the part. The result of the measurement was added to the digital thread as QIF data. The ISO and industry standards shown here are already used in production. AP238, AP242, HTML5, MT Connect, and QIF. Basing the digital thread on these standards allows it to grow and extend beyond a single system or vendor, reducing costs and enabling new cloud services. Services to generate and optimize machining and measurement solutions, select machines, cutters, or optimize the schedule. The thread enables scientific shop floor control to increase speed when deadlines are tight or reduce tool wear and costs otherwise. Real-time measurement and adjustments become possible, change process for variations in stock size, or deliver data for digital assembly simulation. Finally, the digital thread creates a better product. Designers, planners, and machinists can see requirements, share results, and help optimize solutions. Thank you to the many groups who worked hard to show these benefits of the digital thread.